ultrasound to his um, left upper trapezius muscle, the muscle on top of your shoulder here, to hopefully decrease some of that tightness, some of that trigger point that you're having, um, uh, to decrease some of the pain, and I think we'll get some more range of motion in your neck. So again, I just want to, so contraindications, no pacemaker, correct? Uh, no active cancer, what else could I ask him? Yes, yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say that. I was just trying to say that. Any pregnant cells would be working in PT. We have multiple kidney failure, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. um, make sure he has no, you know, no artificial joint in there, no plastic component around the area, um, no history of deep, deep, deep vein thrombosis or anything like that. All right. So I do the same thing. I do a oh, give him a pillow. Give me that pillow. Lap, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so you want to drape appropriately. So um, so that's why I kind of did this. So my hands are cold, so you can feel me touching you, right? And other than the blotchiness from me poking him already, there's no open wounds, no rashes, anything like that. So what I usually do is I'm going to have you heat this up a little bit. I'm nice, and I heat the gel up, especially in the winter time. And um, I never pour, like I see therapists, and tell me if they do this in your clinic, um, the patient's lying prone and they get a cold uh, gel and they oh, just yeah. put it, I never ever do that. We have, we, that. We, well, we have one PT that will always heat up the gel in that, no. I just, I... Oh, it might be a little cold at first. Yeah, that's no, and I will tell, and I will tell my patient it's a little cold. But I see therapists literally like this oh, and no. putting, and it's like I never do that. So I usually put so, it on the ultrasound. Exactly. Head. So I'll either put it on the head or put it in one area here. And this is an, a, a real sensitive area, so I could have used it, but I'm just being a little bit nice. So let's go over the settings while while they're heating. All right. So sound, right? So I'm gonna put eight minutes. Okay. The other thing is megahertz. So this is frequency. It's all about the depth of uh, penetration. It's the target tissue. So I'm doing an upper trapezius. I want superficial. My choice is one or three. It's three megahertz, right? Now this is duty cycle. So this is not something you did the last couple days, correct? This is something that's been going on for a while. So what's the duty cycle? 20. 20 means... Um, Continuous. Continuous. And that's actually the default setting. No, no, no. You're thinking about something else. So duty cycle is 20% and continuous. So continuous means the machine's on all the time, so you're going to feel a little bit of, of warmth. 20% means it's only on 20% of the time. It's pulse. So that's more for an acute issue or maybe like um, a tissue healing issue. So we're going to leave it continuous. The other part is the intensity. So what's our starting point for um, a chronic issue? 1.0 watts per centimeter squared. All right. And what I'll tell um, my patient with this is, in a moment we're going to start the machine. You're going to see I keep it moving. Um, you also have to keep it, it's not on, so you have to keep it parallel to the tissue. So this has a little contour. Do you see if I keep it straight? it's gonna come off. So you have to, it's a lot of wrist motion, you have to use your wrist. And the shoulder is harder because it's that convex surface. But you have to do that. If you do that, you're not really getting, you're not really getting the treatment. Now after I heat it, I never pour it on him because sometimes it doesn't heat uniform or it could be too hot. And just grab me some paper towels, Kim, so I always just check it, the chill's coming out of it. Is it blue? Is it the bottle that's blue? It's blue. Oh, it's kind of like blue. It's like blue. I always thought what I wanted to do, and now I think someone's done it, so I can't become a millionaire. But I wanted to put like things like valerian or um, what's the other thing I'm thinking in here? We makes biofreeze into ours. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, biofreeze. What's the other relaxer like lavender and like yeah. scented things? And I thought that would be really really nice. So. Um, yeah, but it probably. could irritate the skin. Huh? Couldn't it irritate? Anything it can yeah, irritate, irritate the skin. Yeah. yeah. Anyone. Yeah. Anything could. All right. So I'm going to get this started. You okay? Yep. All right. So again, you figure out the area that needs to be worked on. So I'm just going to press start. And how you know it started, you see the timer yeah. is, is going down. So now it's going to take a little bit, maybe a minute or two to warm up. So I'm gonna tell him when you start feel any, feeling any warmth at all, you let me know. And the only thing you should feel, if you feel warmth, is a slight warmth. If it ever feels hot or burning, you need to let me know. Or if you feel any type of pain at all, 
you need to let me know. So you want to try to avoid bony prominences, like a lot of you are going to have um, really bony clavicles or your chromium process. And if you go over a bony area, what um, sometimes a patient will say, ow, that hurts or pull away because it's going to start um, kind of vibrating the bone a little bit. You, what did you say something to me? They, they would always say they feel a sharp pain. Yeah, exactly. And doesn't feel comfortable, so I avoid bony areas. So you see how I went and grabbed kind of the gel? Mm -hmm. And you want a couple of millimeters of gel. Um, I'd rather have you have a little bit more than not enough. If it's not enough, what I feel when I do it is I feel like the sound head is sucking into the skin a little bit. There's like a drag on it. And so I always put more gel in. So I'm gonna let him try it for maybe another half a minute. And uh, so it's a couple minutes on. And if he doesn't feel any light warmth, I'm gonna increase the intensity. How does that feel? I feel a little warm. Do you want a little bit more warmth than that? Yeah. Was that a yes? Yes. All right, so now you have to keep this yeah. moving as you're increasing the intensity. So I usually go two to three tenths at a time, so I did 1.3 watts per centimeter squared. So again, a slight warmth is okay. No. Hot or burning is not okay. I don't know if you teach us this or not, but what would you use the hydrocortisone? Yeah, so that's choose. something called phonophoresis mm -hmm. um, when you use a medication with the ultrasound, and I use that on lots of folks. So um, hydrocortisone cream is what kind of an agent? Like what's its properties? It's a steroid. Right, it's an anti-inflammatory, um, and I think it's a, is it a 5 or a 10% they use now? It might be a 10%, I, I think. A 10 one. Um, so sometimes if someone has inflammation, a doctor will order that, a phonophoresis. Um, and I've seen it used a couple of ways. Most clinics will mix it with the, mm -hmm. the gel, and I've seen it used straight, but most of the time you mix it with the gel, and so now you get more of an anti-inflammatory effect. So I'm kind of focusing on his trigger point here. Do you feel a slight warmth? I'm yeah, just gonna come I, down and I, gather. I, I so good. really my treatment area basically is from here to here, so it's a couple times the size of the sound head. And I'm just going to come and gather some gel up. And you keep it moving. I tend to go in circles. Some people will do maybe a figure eight um, or kind of up and down. I don't know. Circles just seem to work kind of overlapping circles. Now, before you say if someone pulls away, it stop. Can you pause it too? This should be a pause. Um, button, right? This one, let me see if it will work the pause. Yeah. Pause it so there's no it, input. Then yeah. You can go right back yeah. And so start if they again. do that, you can pause it and okay. then I'll come back. But you see, I always start moving it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. There you go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but you could see it worked. Cool. And oh, there we go. Yeah, it went back again. Do you see that? So yeah, instead of turning the whole thing down, you could do that. So I'm just going to stop the treatment. Okay. And try to use paper towels or else you're going to go through so many towels. It's going to be ridiculous. And then we need the wash. They should be done. Yeah, I see them. So um, this says cleansing solution. So what we do, I just want to spray in anyone's eyes. So that's what I clean the sound head off with. The other one is going to be, we're going to use that for an electrode. So. 